We had a red light this morning, so I didn't figure that it was working. I'm glad to see each one of you here this morning. We have some visitors as well as our regular young people. Welcome. I want to introduce you to a, a young uh, dog this morning. His name is Chips, and they called him Mr. Chips. Now, just like some children, he was very mischievous. He had a mix of Collie, Husky, and German Shepherd. And he looked different from, you know, a German Shepherd or a Collie. He, he has um, some of each of the breeds in his looks. And he had trouble. You guys seen, ever seen dogs get into your garbage can and pull out food? Uh, Chips loved to get into the garbage can. He loved to chew on shoes and socks. He loved to get into anything that had a human smell on it. And he was just a most TV little kid. But the family loved him. And he was a part of the family. And after a bad incident, it was an accident, but an incident anyway, with the garbage man, when the children were at school, he was put on a chain in the backyard to keep him out of mischief. Well, he got free sometimes, and he still got into mischief. So they tried, you know, heavier chains and so on. So they decided to give him a good break from being chained up and went to the beach. Well, he had never been to the beach before. He had never seen the city, the ocean. And on the trip to the Oak Beach, he got really thirsty in the hot car. So the first thing he did when he got out of the car was ran to the beach, the water, and stuck his nose in the water, or mouth in the water to get a drink. And yeah, yeah. Oh, it was terrible. He got up in his nose and his throat, and it stung because what is the ocean? Is it fresh water? Nice to drink? No. It's salty, very salty. And when you get some swallowed, it doesn't taste good at all. And he did not like it. So he ran back away from the beach and got to suck all the water out. And then he would run at the waves, bark at the water. <laughs> Then uh, he got uh, uh, sidetracked with the children, and they took some walks, and the girls decided that they would uh, make some sandcastles. So they made their sandcastles, and it was really nice and big, and Chip guarded them as they walked back and forth with the water, with the pails of water and sand, and then they decided they wanted some shells to put on their castle to make it look nice. So they started to walk for the shells. And they met a couple and, uh, on the beach, and they started talking with them. They were, having, they were celebrating their anniversary, and they had a picnic, nice picnic lunch that Anne had fixed for them. And part of that lunch was a big chicken, roasted chicken. And it was sitting on top of the tablecloth. Mm -hmm. And at first, Chips didn't pay any attention to it because he didn't smell it. He laid down while they were visiting and chatting and was having some nice dreams when all of a sudden the wind changed. And, oh, that smells good. Where is that coming from? So he looked around. He saw the chicken on the table, and he went, nobody was watching him. He got up and he went over, and he grabbed the chicken. And about that time, Ann saw him, ah, hit the dog, he's got my lunch. And scared poor Chips, and he ran, ran. And all of a sudden, Mother was uh, mending Chips uh, to the girls, said that we're going to have to leave the beach. You can't just have him home doing things like that. And she stopped in mid-sentence 
and hollered again. Thank you. 